so welcome back guys so as you can see in the previous video we have done something like this so our gun could have shoot our gun could uh, destroy some object and uh, this have not too good but uh, better uh, hit effect uh, so in this video uh, but there was no way to reload this gun so in this video we are going to uh, learn how to uh, reload the actual gun so inside our reka shoot script we will create some new variable okay sorry let's create some new variable for our reloading uh, just uh, first uh, separate the reloading area and everything inside the everything inside the our shoot script then create new public integer called as current ammo um, and set it default something like 30 uh, or whatever you are uh, whatever your gun capacity is and then create another public integer and uh, then name it uh, mac capacity and mac capacity should be 30 around and then create new float uh, which is uh, reload time and that should be something about 2.5 uh 2.5 seconds for default uh, now uh, we uh, when we run out of ammo we actually have to uh, stop this uh, void so uh, for this if uh, inside if statement we have to create current ammo uh, is less than equal to um, sorry less than equal to zero uh, we have to, uh, we have to return uh, written and complete the statement so uh, when we run out of ammo we will uh, the beneath process of this uh, void will not run uh, so now we have to reduce our current ammo so current ammo minus minus and complete the statement and now when we hit save and uh, hit play inside the unity uh, you can see when uh, when we hit click uh gun will shoot until the 30 ammo uh, run out and then there is no way for shooting as you can see inside the uh, uh m4 carbine there is no ammo uh, inside the gun and uh, now we have to actually reload the gun uh, for the uh, normal process we create the void but uh, for reloading it takes some time so we have to create new i illuminator I illuminator uh, which uh, which I uh, I illuminator is same as the white uh, so uh, we have to start the I illuminator uh, so uh, write the start carotene name as reload so inside this uh, I illuminator we, uh, we will write yield return new and wait for a second uh, so um, just remember this thing uh, it will not take so much time you will return new wait for a second and then reload time uh, so uh, it will uh, wait for uh, 2.5 seconds and then this process will happen which is current time is equal to max uh, uh, max capacity so now we will have debug dot log which is uh, ammo gun is reloading or is reloading uh, so we will know the gun is reloading or not mm, so after completing the reloading we will create the debug log which is reload is complete uh, okay mm, now uh, complete the statement and when we hit save and go back to unity and uh, run this program uh, when we uh, as you can see inside this uh, debug.log when we now fire um, uh, we can fire everywhere and when we run out of the ammo uh, the reload uh, gun will re uh, we can see inside the debug we are reloading the gun and gun is reloaded now um, it uh, when after some time it the current ammo becomes 30 after some time means after 2.5 seconds now uh, we have to create some animation for uh, this or uh, this uh, doesn't look so good so I have created the animation not me I have just downloaded it from the sketch fab which is animation something like this which is really cool animation for uh, gun reload uh, gun reload so um, we will create new animator controller which is m4 uh and i also have created this recoil animation which is not too difficult to make inside the unity so uh now uh inside the m4 carbine um, inside the m4 uh, any uh, animator we have this reload component now create new uh empty state uh name it empty uh 
uh, now set this empty state as default uh, <coughs> sorry default and then make transition uh, cl uh, right click on the uh, right click on the state and make transition now inside the parameters uh, create new bool and call it reload and uh, now uh, from empty to reload we have the conditions uh, which is reload is equal to true and from reload to empty we have condition which is reload is equal to false now we will uh, don't want to have uh, any kind of exit time inside this and uh, no transition duration duration for the reload because our reload uh, reload method already con uh, contain of some transition and uh, every other thing so um, uh, from <coughs> uh, reload to empty it should be reload is equal to false now when we go into the visual studio and create new public animator uh public animator and uh, animator sorry and call it anim and they complete the statement and inside the reload method we have to actually start the anim which is anim dot set bool uh, and we uh, name that bool is reload and it is true mm, now sorry and it is true now uh, below the uh, whole reload process is done we have to set the bool to be false uh, so uh, anim dot set bool in bracket uh, in bracket it's reload and it is false now when we complete the statement and hit save and go back to the unity <coughs> sorry uh, when we go back to the unity and uh, I also I will add some recoil to the gun um, which is something like this recoil animation for recoil animation um, we will uh, create new uh, recoil script for uh, the recoil one I have just created new uh, cre uh, empty uh, empty game object and placed the m4 inside the uh, recoil uh, uh, inside the empty object and add a recoil animation to it and also add a recoil script to it now do the same process with the recoil uh, as we done with the reload animation uh, so after doing this go back to the uh, visual studio uh, for um, for this now create the script inside the recoil uh, manager game object and add it to the recoil manager uh, now open up the <coughs> script and inside the script we will create new public animator um, which is called as anim and now uh, beneath we have to uh, create new word which is update and inside this word if we input um, if we input dot sorry input dot get button in bracket which is fire one uh, we have to uh, play the animation so uh, we will have uh, uh, anim dot play or anim dot set bool anim dot play in bracket uh, recoil or <coughs> or we will simply do, uh, do the anim dot set bool which is recoil uh, now which is true now when we uh, complete the statement and uh, beneath this okay sorry it should be recoil and now when we complete the statement we have to else uh, if there is no input of fire one uh, we should have to uh, set bool uh, recoil to be false uh, now uh, if we save this and try it inside the unity uh, the recoil will still going on uh, of even we are reloading the gun so we don't want to uh, begin this recoil when the gun is reloading so uh, let's create some uh, new bool called uh, is reloading or anything you want to call anything you can call it I'm just calling it as is reloading and complete the statement uh, is equal to and by default it is false and complete the statement now uh, inside uh, uh, reload start uh, is reloading should be true mm, should be true and uh, after the complete of reloading process is reloading should be false uh, now it will help such as uh, the recoil manager script could understand the reloading is uh, finished or not so inside the recoil animate uh, recoil anim manager we will create the reference for the reka shoot screen 
which is uh, done by simply done by Rika shoot call it shoot and then uh, we have to reference for our gun script so we will have some game object which is public and uh, game object call it game object and which is call just call it gun now um, inside the Rika shoot we will have gun um, simply this gun uh, dot get component in uh, in bracket which is uh, Rika shoot now uh, to complete the brackets and complete the statement and now inside this we will have another condition after uh, sorry <coughs> we will have another condition for uh, in the if statement which is shoot dot is reloading uh, should be false uh, which is uh, double is equal to should be false and now uh, when we complete the statement and uh, go back inside the unity um, okay uh, um, just place the animator inside the script okay why this does not work um, this is error something here okay uh, i just uh, add the explanation uh, add the right wrong symbol after the sentence um, now Mm, add a recoil manager inside the uh, animator and gun inside the gun now when we hit play the uh, recoil animation is not playing quite well uh, it is because I don't know hmm. as you can see uh, there is slightly gap between uh, the recoil starts and uh, the recoil finishes uh which is uh, only because we have the exit time inside our animator between the transition state uh so we just have to uh, disable that has exit time uh for solve this problem uh we just uh, has exit time and inside the setting we have uh, transition duration to, to be zero now when we hit play and click uh, the gun is recoiling and after the when we run out of ammo the gun is reloading and the reloading animation is playing twice because the uh, we have placed the reload time of 2.5 second which is greater than the animation time which is something about 2 second or 2.1 second so um, i think this is uh, <coughs> um, just clear this statement and this is it for this video let's meet in the next one